Well, we're going to wake up to a couple of inches of wet snow as we head into your Friday morning. And as we head to your Friday morning, here's what we can expect into the mountains. Some spots as much as 10 inches worth of snowfall into the southern mountains, the San Juans and the Sangre de Cristos. Look at that. Two feet worth of snow possible above 10,000 feet in elevation. But for most of us, including closer into the Denver area, much lighter accumulations. I think in Denver, we'll wake up to maybe an inch or two of wet snow. Most of this will be on grassy surfaces, car tops, things like that on roads. Impacts fairly limited, but watch out for some patchy black ice as we head into your Friday morning. That is going to be due in part to this temperatures that drop back into the mid 20s for us. So we'll wake up on Friday morning to what will be our coldest night so far this season. So, so far this fall, this is going to be by far our coldest night. And again, when we're talking about temperatures in the mid 20s, that'll take any of that kind of water in the roadways and freeze it on over. So watch out, especially keep in mind bridges and overpasses. Those freeze over for us. Forecast lows, tonight, teens, 20s. We wake up on Friday morning. And for your Friday, it's going to be a cold one out there. Temperatures only topping out in the low 40s. It is partly sunny. We'll see those clouds mostly in the morning, but those will gradually uh, break on up as we head through the day here on your Friday. Forecast highs here for your Friday. This is about 15 degrees below what we would expect for the fourth day of the month of November. Kind of more of a December like chill, no doubt about that, as we get into your Friday afternoon. Winds for us here into the foothills. That's going to be another big story as we get into your Friday night, and especially for your Saturday. I think Saturday morning will be our peak wind time here into the foothills. Could be talking about hurricane force wind gusts up to 75 miles an hour into the foothills, western Boulder, western Jefferson County. Again, those foothill locations that tend to be prone to that. Keep in mind those winds could be strong enough for some isolated power outages up by Netherland, Allen's Park, Estes Park, as well as north towards Red Feather Lakes. Seven day forecast once we get past that. We do warm on up, then we got that time switch, of course, Saturday night into your Sunday, and then temperatures around seasonal levels for most of the next few days. No significant rain or snow chances until likely the end of next week. Until then, lots of sunshine.